There is more News 12's Kayla Holt was on the other side of the Red River in the path of totality in Hugo, Oklahoma. She brings us this recap. People walking into Hugo, Oklahoma's Endangered Animal Foundation grounds. Visiting from near and far. I'm like five, six hours. Family and friends came to get a glimpse at the total solar eclipse with a few extra perks. Elephant sightings. While people geared up for the big moment, attendees were bathing elephants and even getting custom t-shirts made by the elephants. The elephant gets uh, like paint in it nose and like sprays it on the shirt. And when it was finally time for the eclipse. Whoa. Crickets started chirping at the totality. The sky was cloudy. It looked like a little bit of a storm at night time, but like not too dark. Yeah, it looked like a storm rolling in at the evening. But if you caught a break in the clouds, you could catch the moon covering the sun, making for a memorable moment in time that most people won't catch again until 2045. In Hugo, Kayla Holt, News 12.